what the, what this year video is about today is uh, resolution. Uh, nothing to do with grandma's resolution to quit drinking. Uh, for the new year, it's, uh, we, we know that never works. It's got to do with uh, photography resolution, picture resolution. We have contrast, micro contrast, resolution, acutance, uh, megapixels, perceived megapixels, sharpness, fringing, and I don't know why I threw in bouquet, uh, because anybody who talks about bouquet is, uh, is not okay in the head. It's the complete opposite of resolution. Anyway, so here's the, here's the truth. Some of these things have a direct relationship. Some of them don't. But this video is about resolution. Okay, so the first uh, word, resolution itself, when we talk about cameras, it's how much detail there is uh, in the shot. The definition of resolution is, that is, uh, ability to resolve something, obviously. Tell one thing from the other. If it's, if it's not sharp, then... Uh, you can't tell where one thing ends and the other starts. You settle a fight by identifying the differences. Uh, you identify visual things by difference in brightness and color. Resolution simply means to distinguish the difference in some way, period. So when you apply that to cameras, it typically means finding the edge of one object to tell them apart from another object. Extremely specifically, it means the minimum distance over which you can measure a change in the level of light or color. Let's talk about contrast. Contrast, contrast itself means the difference in intensity of the signal. That can mean for a color image, the difference in level of light. When someone says contrast, generally it refers to the difference between the darkest and the lightest points in the entire image. Uh, dynamic range and contrast measure the same values. Uh, they both measure the difference between the low to the high values of a range. Uh, generally, they mean the same and technically they are interchangeable. However, typically the common use of the term is this. Contrast is used only to do with the low to the high value in the image as a whole. And dynamic range is typically used to define the maximum capability of a sensor. Since they measure the same thing, it should be obvious to you that your contrast of your image will never be larger than the dynamic range of your sensor, unless you Photoshop it, of course. So now we understand contrast is the difference between high and low values. And maximum resolution is the minimum distance we can measure the change between two different amplitudes, two different amplitude values or contrasting values showing different levels of light or color in the next door pixels or measurements, no matter how small the change in contrast. Let's talk about these terms micro contrast and acutance. Acutance, uh, that, that's really a new word, <clears throat> frankly, that I'd never heard. Both terms refer to the, to the difference in contrast at the smallest possible scale. Not, not the image, uh, as a whole. There is more to this. I'll get it. Hang on. But for now, there's actually more to this, uh, but for now, it's almost just a synonym for resolution, but weighted by contrast, nothing more. They both mean the same exact thing. 
there are no measurements that exist anywhere that can be applied equally to the word microcontrast that don't mean the same thing as amplitude or color change in respect to resolution. A comparison with, uh, with geography here, I don't know. Uh, for an analogy, consider geography resolution, uh, measures the, the minimum distance that a change in elevation can measure. Accutance measures the height of cha the height change across uh, that distance. Directly related measurements, not a total independent value. A mountain has a high contrast. A cliff has a high accutance. Uh, stair steps have high resolution without having high accutance. But sometimes the term microcontrast is misused because microcontrast is a term that is so infrequently used. Sometimes it refers, sometimes it refers to the context of contrast. So let's get back in contrast a bit. Accutance. What the fucking word that is? Uh, when Adobe created Accutance Control in Photoshop, it was so confusing that people just ended up calling it Sharpness Control and Setting. I don't use Adobe, whatever they call it, Lightroom or... Why is Adobe renaming uh, something incorrectly, you ask? Good damn question. When you turn up in Photoshop, what it does is find the edges the points that have a drastic difference between low and high values, and then ramp them up, ramp up the highs, and lower the lows. Uh, so you'll get your contrast. This means it's an increase in the microcontrast or acutance, whatever word you want to call it. But if they called it those obscure terms, people wouldn't understand. So what do they call it? So they called it something reasonable. Oh, okay. They called it something reasonable. Uh, the perceived contrast. Okay. Okay, now we are on a new word. Perceived. There's a term. There's a term called perceived megapixels. What the hell is that shit about? Um, I'd like to know. Oh, okay, let's dig into this data. Well, there is this website out there called uh, DxOMark. And they calculate the perceived megapixels for lenses. Now, I'm not going to go into the math, but they do actually measure shit. I know there are people that despise DxO DxOMark, but the fact is those people haven't come up with uh, another way to measure shit. You can look them up on uh, on Google and uh, see what these people do. Lot lot of uh, <coughs> lot of lens makers uh, live by these guys, I guess, or what they say, what they claim. They claim it shows the maximum resolution a lens is capable of, unless someone else comes up with a measurement that shows it. You have to trust. You trust they are somewhat scientific about it. Anyone that thinks it's made up really needs to spend some time reading the long, long description of what it is, how they measure, how they measure this. Mm -hmm.